Hello, fellow Millwright brothers and sisters. I'm Jeremiah Johnson, lead Millwright representative for the Pacific Northwest Regional Council. I wanted to take a few minutes and go over the highlights of the Millwright Employers Association MEA tentative agreement. The voting for this agreement will open on Monday, April 13th at 6 p.m. and will conclude at 6 p.m. on Friday, April 17th. Please go to the Regional Council website at nwcarpenters.org to review the tentative agreement and cast your vote. Please note that you will need your UBC number as your password and you will not enter the U or the hyphens. This agreement is five years with wages locked in for the first three years and wage openers in years four and five. Some of the language additions are as follow. Wilder premium and the proper dispatch points for Southern Idaho, which we had previously negotiated during the last agreement cycle. The Millwright tool list adopted by Millwright Local 96 and further adopted by the individual apprenticeship programs to help create uniformity throughout the council. An assembler classification to assist with recruitment and retention while also allowing non-skilled tasks to be completed by UBC members instead of another craft. This classification is not to replace apprentices on the job site, as this can only be utilized after apprenticeship ratios have been fulfilled. Modification to the working rules, to assure that members are properly paid for completing pre-employment paperwork off-site. When this is done, a stipend of $50 will be provided. This language doesn't apply to the employer-directed pre-job site-specific trainings and orientations, which shall be paid for actual time spent. Another highlight is a negotiated penalty for employers that do not supply the union with a completed pre-job notification form prior to the commencement of work. Having these forms completed gives the union ample time to assure that we can meet the needs for these projects. Emergency call-out pay. This newly negotiated provision will assure that members are properly compensated when they have to stop their day and go to the job site to perform emergency work during their day off. Also, Veterans Day is now an added holiday to the list currently recognized within the agreement. A new provision also for a second shift premium. Millwrights typically work two established shifts and not three. In our past collective bargaining agreement, there was no premium for a second shift operation. Now our members on a second shift will receive an additional $2 per an hour. There is also an increase to the meal per diem from $35 a day to now $40 and increase to lodging per diem from $100 a day to $110. This will assure that members are properly compensated when working on a site that qualifies for per diem. It also updates the way we calculate the drive time to actual road miles. It was radius. It will be shortest route via Google Maps. There is a new language to address unscheduled and scheduled overtime to assure that members are properly compensated for missing and or not receiving a lunch. With clarification that on a scheduled overtime, the members are responsible for bringing their own lunch. Economics. If the bargaining parties are able to maintain on the negotiated trend of the increases note negotiated and noted above for the duration of the collective bargaining agreement, we will all have parity in Washington, Alaska, and Oregon, where all total packages will be the same, exception of Southern Idaho and Montana, which will reach 80% of the Western Washington scale by the expiration of this agreement. The three years of negotiated total package increases break down as follows. For Western Washington, 12.5% 
or $7.99 Eastern Washington, 9.83% or $6.53. For Alaska, 15.87% or $9.69. For Oregon, 20.24% or $11.69. Montana, 18.55% or $8.82. Southern Idaho, 24%, or $10.69. I would like to acknowledge and thank the bargaining team for their hard work on negotiating a good agreement for the membership. Your MEA bargaining team is Chad Canoy, Brent Jones, Robert Bursuch, Ed Marston, Doug Lays, Riley McCauley, Spencer Duthlett, Aaron Gray, Ron Habaka, John Harp, Dave Wilson, Joe Puglesi, and myself, Jeremiah Johnson. I ask you, please take the time to vote on this fair agreement, and your bargaining team and I recommend a yes vote. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.